DJ Pro AI is not only an amazing DJ app, but with all its advanced features, you could use it to produce your own beats and even produce your own tracks. Let's get this party started. So in order to do this, we are going to be using DJ Pro AI in pro mode. So if you are in classic mode, press the middle button, switch over to pro mode, and then open up your looper and sampler all the way over here on the right. We are going to be using a combination of the looper, the sampler, and the two decks that we have available to, to us to make an EDM track. First, let's start with our beginning of the song and our buildup. So what I am doing is I'm going to go to in my looper section down here. And I selected EDM Volume 1. You guys could follow along with me with the same one. So we're going to start with a little drum beat. All right, that's good. And now I recorded my own sample using an app called BandLab. Uh, you can click one of the cards up there to learn how to do this. And it sounds like this. Let's get this party started. So that's what I'm going to use right before the drop. So I have my cue point set over there. So now we have our build up. And then during the buildup, I'm going to add a little scratching just to spice it up a bit. And I am using the scratch sample that DJ Pro has. So hold in the music select button and then select our scratch sample. And then over here at 13 seconds in, I set a cue point where it says word. So it goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of baby scratches and then let it say word. So it's going to sound kind of like this. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We have our kick five, kick six selected. And once you have it selected, if you press the pause button down here, it'll turn it off and then you could turn it on and it will save what you did. So we don't have to keep redoing it. So I'm going to have that those kicks going and then I'm going to do a couple scratches, do the word part, and then we could loop this for the beginning of our song in order to make these tracks. It's a little bit difficult because it's not really what this app was made for. But what we have to do is press this middle button, hit record, and we're going to layer up these recordings. So first recording is going to be like this. Record. Start new recording. So now we're going to do our little kick beat. Word. Now we're going to stop our recording. Go to record. 11.21 right here. And now we're loading it onto a deck. So what we just recorded is now loaded onto this deck. So we're going to set our cue point right here at the beginning. So that is going to be our buildup. So we are going to have the, this 16. See how this is a 16 beat loop. We are going to have that be doubled. So it's going to be 32. So I'm just going to hit record and let it run twice. Record, start new audio recording. And there we go. We got part two, part two. So now part two is loaded up. All right. So there we go. We have our intro and then I'm going to add some buildup. Let's see what they have here. So usually in EDM songs, they have some type of a riser kind of builds tension and then the drop comes and everyone goes nuts. So let's see what we have over here. We are going to record again what we have here, part two, what we're up to. I'm going to take out the kick. I'm going to add our sample. And then, and then we, after that, we're going to make our drop. So here we go. I'm going to fast forward it so you guys don't have to see it. And then I'll play the whole thing again. Let's get this party started. All right, so there we go. We got our beginning of the track. We have some type of a build up. So now let's do a drop. So with the drop, we're going to keep the same with five and six. We're going to add a percussion. And then we're going to add one of the bases, and then we're going to add one of these leads over here. So there we go. We have the first track is kick five. We have percussion four, top six, bass three, and lead three. 
So that is what our drop is going to be. So again, I am going to press pause and it's ready for us when we press play again. I am going to hit record again. Remember, we're layering this up. It's kind of time consuming, but this is how you have to do it. So I'm going to have this layer of the intro and the build up play. And then after that, at the perfect time, I am going to hit the play on our drop, record the whole thing. So we're going to hit record. recording and now here we go new track final so it came to a minute and a half so here we go let's hear what we have And there we go. We just used DJ Pro AI to complete, to make a full, complete original track. Now test this out using the same methods, but put your own spin on it. If you want to send it in, you can, and I can show it on the channel it, with your permission. And if you want to learn more about the DJ Pro AI sampler, check out this video over here where I go in detail. Thank you.